Last week we started learning about the bracha of Asher Yatzar and the bracha of Elikai Neshama, Shinnasatabi, and perhaps there's a connection between them, and we're going to see more a connection from them from the Ramah, wrote in the Sefer Darkei Moshe, a connection between them. So before we go to that, the connection between the two brachas, we'll pick up again in the beginning of the bracha, what does it mean? What does it mean, the word Bechachma? Remember we discussed that last time. Shayata is the Adam Okay. Now, the um, we saw last week Tosvos and the top Tosvos on the page that I gave out the Samach on the page, and he brings the Medrash Tan Chuma, and the Medrash says we'll read inside. Shayata is the Adam Bechachma. The top Tosvos. The Tan Chuma. Medrash Tan Chuma. By Yivra Lekim Es Adam. Am Rabbi Bain Bechachma, what is it? Kadosh Baruch created a person Bechachma shehiskin mizaynaisav v'achargach birao. First, Hashem made a person's food in the world, and then He created man. Hainu Dama B'Sanhedrin beside Parak Echad Dinei Mamanus v'kach nivra be'erav Shabbos. This is why a person was created on the last day of creation on erav Shabbos. Kadesh Yikanis the Suudam Yad that a person should come into a ready-made world. That's like a, a, a suda, a, uh, a banquet that's already prepared. Now again, Yisada Asher Yatzer Sa Adam Mechachma, based on this medrash, that Hashem created a man with wisdom. Now, um, okay, so according to this, the creation of man with wisdom is going back on the beginning of creation of man, and a person was created with, uh, with all of the provisions that he needs in the world. It, um, there was a question. I don't have the answer yet to this question, but it's still something we're working on. The question was, what's special about man in this context? According to the Medrash Tan Chuma, so it's not only man that was created with food in the world, Mechaira, animals as well. And here you're thinking, Hashem, 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 Hashem created a man, something special about the creation of a human being. And it says, Bechachma, but was this Chachma only in the creation of man? Mechara, a creation of animals as well, came in such a way that they were created with, uh, with that which sustains them in place already when they were created. Um, okay, let's hold on to that question for now. Um, the Rashi says something which it's it, w- based on one word in Rashi, we could build on that Rashi saying a different shot than Tosfos. In the end of the bracha, the bracha says that Hashem does wonders, mafli lasais, a pella, something that's a wonder, something that's hidden, unbelievable, and it says in the end of the bracha, mafli lasais. So what is this mafli lasais? So Tosfos says that it's me. It refers to the the fact that a person's like a balloon, full of ruach, full of air, and a breath inside of them, and they're full of holes as well, and yet the air of a person doesn't uh, doesn't leave them, and they still are full. Their lungs are full, and they're able to uh, to keep that ruach inside of them, and that is a pella. And mm-hmm. that's Sorry, based on a medjus rabbi. Pella is, is a wonder. Now, if you look in Rashi, Dibra Maslo Mafli Lasis. Again, let's read carefully. It's the third skinny line in Rashi. Dibra Maslo Mafli Lasis. Says Rashi, Kineged Shaguf Cholo Kimo Nod. This is the, um, what, what's Mafli Lasis? What, what is this referring to that we're thanking Hashem that He's doing wonders? The body is cholo, it's hollow, kimono, like a uh, a pouch, a balloon, something that you fill up. If it would have a hole in it, this um, this pouch, the ruach would not stay in it. It would go, it would exit from the hole. Hashem created a man with wisdom. And Hashem created a person, w- together with the ruach inside of him. He created 
Nikavim, Nikavim, Arbe. Tafal begin a ruach b'taychay. And even so, the ruach stays inside of a person. The 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 breath, this uh, this uh, spirit, this air stays inside of a person. Kol yimechayov v'zui plia v'chachma. And this is a plia v'chachma. So it's actually two words in Rashi. If I'm gonna carefully, two words in Rashi. When Rashi is explaining what the mafli lasas is, Rashi sticks in the word chachma. Okay, once uh, when Rashi says, "Vakaris Baruch Ubaras Adam Bechachma Uvaravai Nikavim," and then Rashi says in the end, "Vizui Plia Bechachma." So you see Rashi putting in the word Chachma into the explanation of Matli Lasas. So let's explain this. Hashem created a man with Chachma. Doesn't mean like Tosa says that. Hashem created a person with all of the sustenance in the world <coughs> that's ready for them to be sustained. But it means that Hashem created a person in a, with a chachma that in, with, with the ruach inside of them, that could be miskayim. And that's the same thing that we're thanking Hashem in the end, that's mafli lasas. That Hashem put this breath inside of a man and created him with a wisdom. The wisdom is this this uh, amazing thing that it doesn't leave the person through this many nekavim, these many holes that are inside of a person. So, what's gishmak about Rashi's pshat is that it ties the whole bracha together. In the beginning, we have the chachma that's referring to the same thing that it's referring to in the end of the bracha of ma'apli lasas. And we know we have a klal in brachas that the, the chasima the ending of the bracha is supposed to be me'ain uh, the psicha, the beginning of the bracha. It's supposed to be that there's a similarity in the, that the end of the bracha is going back and uh, connecting with the, what the bracha started off with. And according to Rashi, the yichachma in the beginning of the bracha and the ma'apli lasais in the end are both referring to this, that Hashem keeps this ruach, this uh, breath inside of a person that is sustained. I guess the idea is that the when a person breathes in, certain uh, parts of him open up to allow the avir to go, the the, the the air to go in, and then holds it in, and then when it's time for it to go out, it goes out and he exhales, and then he and, and it holds and, and and everything at the at the right time holds the air in. And, le- and lets it uh, lets it go out. Um, but he's treating chokma like a very tangible thing. Yeah, the chokma is something that physically could dissipate from a person, but it's not because it's, of the it's, a, of it's this um, the the creation. <coughs> I understood it is that a person created in a way that that involves so much um, so much wisdom in everything being. Uh, being working properly in the uh, um, in the in the uh, how shall we say it? And it, it's the same type of thing that you when if you would a person would create uh, a device something that he would use technology to to um, to make it work properly and everything should function at the right time at the right the right way and here this is something which usually it, it seems miraculous. Mm-hmm. That, the, and that's, that's the pella part. In, in other words, the, the wisdom part is, is, is creating in the proper sequence and in the right way. Because first you have the water, then you have the grass, which depends on the water. And <coughs> then, well, first you have the sun, which, and the water, which the grass depends on. Grass is the food for the animals, and the animals is going to be food for men. The interesting part is, is the pella part is the fact that the the creation was made in such a way that, in a way, it works against nature. And it's that, like a, and it, that's, yeah. And that's the one that's why, because something that has a hole in it should not be able should to not be able to, to keep it. That's yeah. what he said. Right. Yeah. He said, right. Exactly. The question that we have a little bit on Tosvas is that, according to Tosvas, the end of the bracha doesn't seem connected to the beginning in terms of this. This is something for us to think about. Is there any connection between According to Tosvas, the beginning, which says Hashem used wisdom and put mizonos, put this 
food in the Bria into the world before man so that it should be, his sustenance should be in place and that was that wisdom. And then Mafli Lasas is the miraculous aspect of keeping the breath inside of a person um, even though there's many holes, is there any connection between those? But according to Rashi, it's connected and one and besides the beginning and the end being connected according to Rashi, the middle is as well. Why? Because the middle speaks about the 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 Nikavim uh, Nikavim, the Chalulim Chalulim. In the middle of the bracha, the many holes in the body, the openings in the body, and the Chalulim, and these different uh, cavities, and, and uh, inside, hollows inside of a person that's discussed in the middle of the bracha, and that's what it's referring to in the end of Mafli Lasais, but it's also referring to in the beginning of, of the Chachma. Okay. Now, there, there is... <coughs> the same question, right? Thinking out loud, that we have on Tosos, that Asher Yalta Es Adam B'Chachma is this Chachma unique in the creation of man, mm-hmm. because not only a human being has the ability to um, to keep the breath inside of them, the, uh, the animal does as well, right? Okay, that question still remains, and the Marsha says a different shot in B'chachma, which was uh, suggested last week, and um, okay, let's see the Marsha, short Marsha, but what is unique about man is that man was gifted with the intellect. And the Shayata as Adam B'chachma is Hashem created a person with this unique gift to man that he gave him wisdom. Because the animals have all these digestive qualities. Right. right. So this is part of what the Marsha mm-hmm. is coming to address. The Pirish Rashi, Bechachma Musa Vadilamata, according to Rashi, the word Bechachma is going on that which is mentioned a little bit later in the Bracha. Dainu Bechachma Shabara by Nikavim. The Chachma is Hashem built into a man, Nikavim, these holes and as well as the hollows. Now, Tais is spiritual issue of Milsaban bin Afshay. Tais explains that Bechachma is its own entity, something in it of itself. Shabarao Bechachma, Shem created man with wisdom. Tahainu Shehiskin Mizainaisa Mikaidem. Shabarao, that he created a person in Mizonos, his food, before he created man. Vahad Yeshleimer, the Bechachma Kayal Adam. And now we can say a third explanation that Bechachma goes on a man, Shem created him in, within man. Wisdom. Hashem gave into the man Chachma Bibriusai, like when he created him. Like in Kol Shar Balechayim, not so all the other animals. Shlainitin Lehem Chachma, all other living beings, Hashem didn't give them Chachma, only men. But what? I'm sorry. No, but what are we talking? It's, it's like today I'm sitting here. Thank God my heart's beating. I don't have control over it. I don't go beat heart, beat, beat. Breathing, I breathe. And if I was stupid enough to try and hold my breath and not breathe, as soon as I would pass out, automatically my brain would kick in and I would breathe. Like all these, there's so many things. My digestive tract, all these things are, you know, automatic. So I'm, I'm trying to... What? Well, where's the parallel? Well, what you know, like um, the, the according example. to the Marsha, <laughs> at least at first glance, the Bechachma that Hashem created a man with intellect is also separate from the rest of the bracha of all of these other things that work properly inside of a person. You're right, is something that Hashem created, s- sort of that it works without us using our intellect to breathe, without our using our intellect to digest or to hold things in that... And it's not unique to man. Yeah, it's a separate thing. The Chachma, the intellect that Hashem gave a person, is uh, is um, the first thing in the Bracha, but it doesn't seem like uh, like it's connected um, to to the rest of the things going on in the Bracha. Now, I want but to digress... Can I just ask you a question before you go further? Yes. Is that it's a peculiar thing that this is the conclusion he comes to. Because virtually, the, very close to the same time in the morning, we have a separate bracha specifically for uh, wisdom and knowledge. You know, in our bracha is Shachar. Yeah. That's the that's the thing. Yeah. 
That's what? That's the, uh, the rooster who gets that with. Not us. Oh, yeah, but there's a different shot that that yeah. means leave. We, I don't know if we got to this. We didn't, just, we didn't speak about this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's definitely alluding to that. So he was touching Sechti as a rooster, that Hashem gave the rooster the the um, awareness of when it's morning to crow, to wake up the morning. That That's a... Uh, no, it says down there's a... Uh, it does. Yeah, yeah, but there's a more than one shot in the bracha of Anais and the Sechavi Dina. Were you referring to this one Esra? No, in the... Here. Here. Uh, go okay. down. Go <coughs> uh, I know it's a little bit unbelievable, but if you look at Rashi uh, on this page, Vasechdi, so it's on the, in the Gemara, here, Vasechdi, so Rashi says Tarnagol. The Sechdi means a Tarnagol. The Ika Duchta, the Karul, the Tarnagol, Sechdi. And I mean in Rosh Hashanah, the Vizem is Rosh Hashanah. So according to that shot, um, the Havchen ben Yom ben Laila goes on the Tarnagol on the rooster that even we see in the early in the morning when we wake up and the rooster even wakes us up and tells us that it's morning and we thank Hashem that Hashem built into the Bria this um, this alarm clock that as it were that uh, could wakes us up in the morning and can differentiate could be not only how it helps us but the wisdom that's expressed that even an uh, animal that doesn't have wisdom has this um, intuition that mm-hmm. it discerns when the morning is coming and, uh, and, 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 and picks up on it. But You're right. <laughs> there, is, there is definitely another pshat brought in the tour that, um, and the rush that it's going on, on the lathe. Yeah, let's see if we just... Okay, even though it's a side, but we're learning about Birchus Hashachar in general. So, don't mind going on a little tangent here. Um, okay. I was thinking about Shmon Esra. I apologize. Oh. Uh, oh, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Shmon Esra. Um, but, um, then. Okay. Um, the, the Rosh says here on this Gemara so he brings V'chishama <coughs> kol Tarnagola the Gemara says when a person hears the sound of the Tarnagol of the rooster Lema let him say Baruch Shenazan Lasechvi Vina Blessed is the one who gave the Sechvi understanding Lahavchen Bein Yoimu Bein Loila to discern between the difference between day and night so says the Rosh Halev Nikra Sechvi the heart of the man is called Sechvi, Bilashan Hamikra, in the in the in the uh, Lashan of the Psukim, Tichsiv Mi Nasan La Sechvi Vina, who has given to the Sechvi Bina. So when we refer to Bina, it's obviously says the Rosh referring to the Lave, the Lave who am even. The Lave is that which is the seat of Bina, of the heart that's referred to in, in the Torah, at least when we say the heart, we're talking about the heart that is understanding. Not just knowledge, but understanding. Through understanding, a person discerns the differences between things. So we thank Hashem for giving us this discernment. And because of Tarnagol, a rooster also understands the difference. Uba Arabi and in Arabic, Korin the Tarnagol Sechdi, they call a, ta- a t- rooster is called a Sechdi in Arabic. Hiskinu Brachazu, Lamer Bishmi is called Tarnagol. So they, therefore they were Mesakim, that the two together, that when you hear the call of Tarnagol, and the Tarnagol also understands, so you make the Bracha. But it's not just a Bracha that's only Nitkan that they, that they instituted to thank Hashem for a Tarnagol. Uh, having into having this discernment, because I guess that wouldn't be uh, enough to be masakin a bracha on that alone. That wouldn't. So the rush is saying what what the main understanding in the bracha is that Hashem gave man himself understanding, and that's what we're thanking Hashem for. If we take so, yeah. 
ourselves, put us deep in the woods where there are no roosters, no chickens, etc. Just before <coughs> dawn, the male species of many birds will be making noises. The thing is, the rooster has a very distinctive and loud call. Okay. I don't know so much about this, but at least if you live on a farm, so then the one that you hear... If, if you have chickens, if, if you're in the deep in the bush, you'll hear the other, you know, you know, yeah. just before dawn. Like, this is not unique, it's just his call is unique. A friend of mine said that he... Um, when we was learning in Shiva Smir in Yishalayim, so across the street from us was a, a courtyard that the person had roosters. And the roosters um, would, would I don't know if the, this was only the Bachrim's uh, uh, thinking or it was actually the reality, but the roosters would crawl in the middle of the night as well. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> also, in the Yishalayim we had behind us, the roosters. Not just when it was in the. Nope. <laughs> they saw head to wake up. They saw head They saw headlights. Yeah, I, I think it. it, it sort of maybe those roosters were confused. I don't know. Yeah, because yeah, the city were, lights. So they it could be roosters. maybe that in the Zman of the Chorban Beis so they're saying this is like mm -hmm. the roosters. Uh, the this is time for uh, in the Choshech of the Galos. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is their Tikkun Chatzah, Tikkun Lachatzah. Maybe they're crying on the Beis Hamikdash. I don't know. But um, but the Bachar went to his Rebbe and he complained that that he can't he can't wake up for Shachris and he, he can't because uh, he gets waken up woken up in the middle of the night by the roosters. So the Rebbe said, you know, uh, just wait till you're married. <laughs> no excuse. Anyway, so um, okay, so so uh, okay. What, there, there is a bracha, according to the Rosh, at least, that it is going on the heart and on the wisdom and in the discernment. And perhaps the question could be asked: Is it repetitive that we're thanking Hashem for the chachma that Hashem gave a person, and now we're going ahead and, and thanking Hashem for the the the, um, the for for giving us uh, the chachma and the lev? Okay, I hear the question. We should keep in mind that the bracha of Asher Yatza is said nu numerous times throughout the day, not just in the morning. Um, I want to just go back to a background for a second. The Aruch HaShulchan in the bracha of Asher Yatza has a paragraph that um, gives us somewhat of a um, overview, not in, not in uh, translation, which he does go into, but an overview in terms of what type of bracha is this, Asher Yatza? Um, we have brachos that we make when we enjoy something in this world, like eating food and smelling something, and uh, it's a birchas hanenin. And Chazal say it's also the adam the hanes min olam azeh the light bracha that the person cannot take pleasure from this world and enjoy until he makes a bracha on it. And Chazal even gave us the words to say in the bracha, and. Once we make the bracha, then permission is given for us to derive pleasure from these, from, from these things that Hashem gave us to enjoy. Um, okay. Um, there's another type of bracha besides birchas uh, hanenin, which really isn't relevant right here, which is birchas hamitzvahs. The person is about to make a bracha, he's about to do a mitzvah, so he makes a bracha. This bracha could be that thanks Hashem for giving us the mitzvah. Mikadesh us with the He sanctified us through giving us the mitzvahs. Every mitzvah that we do sanctifies us and brings us Mikadesh us. But um, also it helps us focus on what we're about to do and and devote that mitzvah to be lishma, to be for the sake of heaven and to think about we're being Mikayim a mitzvah. But there's other types of brachas which are brachas that are birchas ha-shvach, birchas ha-shavach, that we see things that are wondrous in the world and we experience an awesome sight and we thank Hashem on that which we've seen and we've come to a appreciation of the creation. And um, I don't know if it's a separate category or falls into this category, but the birchas ha when we wake up, we're making all these brachas about what we'll call it the... Um, the dark of the way that Hashem created the world, of what what 
what goes on every morning and we thank Hashem for this. Now, let's turn to the Baruch of Asher Yatar and look into what it is that, um, that, we're, that we're expressing in the Baruch of Asher Yatar. So, so, just bear with me for a second. Berachas Asher Yatar is different from all other brachas. The Kola Brachas name Ktsaros and Mufurashas al In Shaosin. Other brachas are specific and clear on what it is that we're doing, and we're making a bracha on that. Kemo be Berachas Ananen, Keshaoka Lechem, Omer Hamoiti Lechem, Minaret, Lechulo. When a person eats bread, they make a bracha that Hashem takes bread from the, from the ground. Yechain Kula. And so do all other brachas. Now, second category. The, the morning blessings, as well, are also clear what they are referring to. The brachas, however, in contrast to these brachas, the bracha zu, this bracha shayotzer, arucha, is a long bracha. The ikra inyan shalom mevarchim, and the main thing that we're making a bracha on after having gone to the bathroom mm-hmm. and having relieved ourselves and cleansed ourselves of the waste that's inside of us, that's not mentioned directly at all in this bracha. So that stands in contrast to all other brachas. All other brachas, you have a direct um, uh, reference to what it is that you're making the bracha on, and here we don't. That the truth is that it isn't directly mentioned in the bracha. The chachamim, the 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 sages did not see fit to mention in this bracha the um, the the relieving of the excretion of the waste inside of a person. Firstly, it isn't something that's respectful to to mention in the bracha. So, therefore, it's not mentioned. So, it's not covered to mention it in the bracha. That's why it's not mentioned. The oid, and furthermore, um, okay, now, another reason why it's not mentioned directly that we thank Hashem for the, for the pleasure that, um, that we just, that we have in this, uh, in this uh, in bodily functions, we can't compare it to regular brachas on pleasures of this world. It's true that a person does derive pleasure from being lighter and feeling cleaner and the pain of what it is that a person had in his, um, in his senses that told him that he, needs to, that he needs to go to the bathroom. Now he feels relieved. That is true. He feels a pleasure. All other brachas on a pleasure are before. We make the bracha before the hana. So before you eat an apple, before you eat something, before you smell something, you make the bracha and then you have the hana. Well, but the, the, the making of a bracha on an apple is optional. In other words, either I can, I can have the apple or I don't eat the apple. Eating bread, either I eat the bread or I the bread. This function is not optional. And right. That's, and and that, that's all my main difference as well. There's yeah. another difference. Actually, actually, the, your machab in the Archa Shulchan mm-hmm. actually says this difference. He's about to say this oh, difference as well. Point. So, so, um, okay, so the two differences that we have so far before this one is, number one, that we don't find the direct reference to the Hana uh, that we're ha- that the the pleasure that's being that that's being felt that uh, the actual idea of going to the bathroom. <coughs> the second one is that he's saying that it's a, the, uh, the, so the reason is because it's not covered, it's not respectful. But then he says that there's a difference that we're not making the bracha before. Now, I don't think he's asking a question. You can't make a bracha if you need to go to the bathroom. Then it's not a, you can't make brachas when you have to go to the bathroom. You have to first go to the, you have to first okay. have a clean body, and then you can make a bracha. So you can't make it before. There's another bracha that fulfills both of those requirements. Or dianemis. Uh huh. Dianemis. Not yeah. just specific, and it's also after the fact. Uh, you're right. Now the thing about bracha dianemis that's clearly not a birchas It's not, not a birchas It's not a birchas Um. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, Shechayanu, Shechayanu, 
when do you make shachyan with the question before you eat, before you take a bite, after you take a bite? But um, many people make it after they take a bite of the food and they make shachyan. Okay. But what if it's not food? What? New pair of shoes. Yeah, then then you put it on. You make the bracha before you put it on. Okay, but anyway, the um, another difference which was just mentioned was a could person could choose. Does he want to enjoy this? Does he not want to enjoy it? With this person, this uh, this act, the person is compelled to do. He his body tells him this is time, and he needs to to do this in order to exist. It's a necessity. Okay. So it's not just a pleasure, something Hanot. Okay. And if we'll compare this bracha to the other morning blessings, Shual Minhaga Shalom, which are on the Minaga Olam, meaning that which Hashem blesses a person with and him and the world around him in the morning, every morning, that he gets his re- ability of the faculties back and the world is running smoothly again. If that was the case, this bracha would only be said one time a day. If it would be like the rest of the bracha sashachar, so then we're just thanking Hashem that He's running the world correctly, you know, that He gives us something, in the, puts into the world something that benefits us and that we appreciate, that, he, that we see in the world again. So then we would just make it in the morning. But, in, but, but we don't. We make it every time that a person relieves himself. So, so really, I think what he's saying is that a person is making this bracha on, the, uh, on having relieved himself, but it's not mentioned directly, and it's different to, it's not, uh, they weren't misogyn it in a bi- as a birchas anenin, but they did, or they weren't misogyn it in connection with this uh, appreciation of a person's bodily functions working properly. And they were misakin that the direct, um, the direct uh, <coughs> thing that we're saying in this bracha is the following. It's al yitzirase shala adam. We're thanking Hashem on the creation of man. Every time that a person goes to the bathroom and they feel that their body is functioning properly and that helps them to continue to, to, continue to exist, then they make a bracha on the creation of man in general. Now, not specific to this act that we just did, but I share Yatar as Adam on the Yitzira of man, Shemitocham before Inyan and Akiyas Behester Panim, and then through the Bracha we allude to, uh, not openly but indirectly, to the Inyan of Nikias, to the cleanliness of the body. So I say Miguna, and not to refer to it di- in directly, and it would be n- not respectful. Okay. Now, he goes on to say that's why the Shulchan Aruch and the Tor who usually post him here they go in to explain the meaning of the bracha because um, it's 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 in the get to what type of bracha is this what are we doing over here exactly and and they're not just parshanim uh, commentators but they are explaining what is what are we doing so so in this context um, we with the Aruch Shulchan's uh, the background, what he's basically saying is that this bracha is somewhat ambiguous, somewhat general, and is thanking Hashem not on a specific act of, of, of relieving himself, but it is um, uh, but it is uh, saying Hashem, thanking Hashem for creating man in general. And if you understand it like that, now we could understand where does it come in, the Chachma, let's say, that Tosas mentions, that just put into this bracha that Hashem gave a man um, food beforehand. Now, it, we're saying Hashem on the entire creation of man and that which helps him continue to exist. One of the things that conti- helps him to continue to exist is that his digestive system works properly. But also, the whole fact that Hashem gave him food in the first place. That that helps that helps them in. Um, <coughs> the the wisdom of the of the marshal 
that Hashem gave a person intellect. Also, want to thank Hashem on the creation of, of man. So, what is it special that Hashem put into man in the first place? Uh, and we we could put in put in chachma. And what what I find interesting is that maybe maybe it's true that we find this chalulim chalulim and nikavim nikavim in the bracha. Now, y- you and I would would automatically, I think, relate this to the digestive system because that's what it would just function properly in uh, you know that we just felt the the uh, the end of the process of the digestive system from beginning till start just finished its whole job and now we we find that the nikavim and the chalulim and the person all function properly and and uh, did a complete cycle so to speak of of doing their job and yet the way Rashi is explaining the nikavim and the chalulim of in the context here and even in Tosfas is the ruach the air, the breath that's inside of a person, the breathing, right? The uh, that's going on, which doesn't seem like it has as much of a place here. But maybe, maybe um, Rashi doesn't mean just to limit it to that. Maybe Rashi is saying the mafli lasais, the unbelievable, uh, sore sort of miraculous thing over here is the ruach part. But the nikavim and the chalulim is going on all of this. It's going on the air inside of a person and the food inside of a person. The um, the Beisayse brings another shot in Mafli Lasais from the Abu Draham. Um, this is in Simon Vav, I think, in Shulchan Aruch. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's fascinating to understand, you know, how much each word and you could what's in this bracha and mm-hmm. a person can think about the bracha when they uh, when they make the bracha to thank Hashem for for um, once one thing in the body is working properly it, it could be a springboard so to speak that this brings us to appreciate the whole Yitzira the whole creation of man in general um, the okay Rabbeinu David Abu I'm reading from the Beis Yosef now Hashem created the coven holes inside of a person for him to excrete the waste from his food. Those are the holes that we're talking about in this bracha, says the Abu Dram, the from some mafarshim. The coven lighty psolas machaloi ki imis apes rebeten yamos if it would just stay inside of a person and become rotten and decayed inside of the person, almost he would die from the from uh, from toxins. Toxins, okay, and from it's, it would be this. This is what it refers to when it says right they call busser. That for us to re, be to remain healthy, this has to be. You have to have these nikavim to let out the psoles. The psoles meaning the the waste. But say say. And the the excretion of this he refua is a refua. There's no right they call basar. Omer umafli lasais. What is says the Abu Dram? Umafli lasais that the pella that Hashem does the wonder that is that 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 is being done here. Hashem sheborer ba kodesh baruch hu toiv hamachol v'docha apsoles. That Hashem created inside of a person the ability inside of the body to that the body could absorb and select that which is useful and healthy for the for the body to to make use of and that which isn't to to push it aside and to be able to be doche the psoles that it should be that it should be uh, left and then excre- and then and then, and then um, and then uh, let go of the nachainu, and that is a that's a nachain, a nice shot. So according to the Vudram, it actually is um, not mentioned uh, in the exact wording that we mention uh, any words that have to do with um, that are directly referring to going to the bathroom. But the word that, that that's the meaning of what the bracha is speaking about. The right they call basar. Hashem is healing us. 
Mavli Lasash, and all of this is because the Nikavim that are being referred to, there are many Nikavim in the body, and many Chalulim, but the ones that we're appreciating here are the ones that are in the digestive system. And that's, that's, um, that's his Pshat. So, um, there is... <coughs> Okay, a couple more comments that I want to make on this bracha. One is that the um, a fascinating thing that the, the Torah brings, and that is the following. He says, what does it mean, she'im yisoseim echad mehem? I'm sorry, what, what order we use? I think I usually say another order. She'im yisoseim echad mehem, a yisoseim echad mehem. It's actually a machlokas, which one goes first. But, so let's do with that. Th- this question is that, if one of them would be opened, or one of them that's supposed to be uh, open would be closed. Okay. So if you say it like that, so it's going back. Let's see if this works. Um, actually, it's, it's interesting. It seems like it's going back on the Kavim, the Kavim, Chalulim, Chalulim, right? And the Kavim is the holes that are open. And the Chalulim, which is mentioned second, are the, <coughs> the um, openings inside of the body which are closed. They're Chalulim, they're hollow. And, and so... Why are we yes. concentrating on the digestive tract? What do you mean? The kidneys, if they don't work. You're, you're gonna, today we can be in dialysis before it was a... Uh, right. You know, yeah. same so with the blood system, same with the uh, lungs, if they can't transfer the oxygen to the, you know, to the blood. You know, like it's like all the, right. you know, the whole body's full, the liver, the getting rid of the impurities. So why are we just concentrating on... Well, I, I, I think I, I think that uh, part of, it could be that if you're going back to the, the what uh, the, the Abu Dram explained, it could be that you know one of the what you're saying about the kidney and the liver could even be included in what mm-hmm. we're talking about. So in, 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 in well, what saying the, openings and cavities if it, one of them were to be blocked. This this what it means that that mafli lasa is that he's saying that it's right kobasa that Hashem created a person that that uh, with this filtering system mm-hmm. so to speak that that uh, you know that be able to to bring you know the blood is bringing all of the nutrients into the entire body wi- and how it, ma- how it, makes, it ma- makes use of it. So yeah. why do we say this after the bathroom rather than sure, a number of times veins, a day? Yeah, I think, I think the reason is because that's when we <coughs> are, are aware of it. That's when we feel the difference that something just happened that we were in pain or we were uncomfortable. We felt that there was something that, you know, and, and then we were, in, and we're now that we are made aware of this, now is the time to thank Hashem for it. But it's not... As yeah, when everything is working properly, you rarely feel your digestive system working in the early stages. You know, you may feel, gee, I've had a full meal. Right? You're not conscious of all the things that are going on to separate nutrients from waste and to <coughs> move it through the process unless you actually have a problem. Mm-hmm. If you have indigestion, if you have things like that. But under normal conditions, the time you feel the digestive system is now. being effective is when you're in the washroom. It's the moment that you do it, or when you eat, actually. And we can make a blessing right. when we eat. It's the completion the of, of the, the process, also. So, and that's when we feel it. Um, I just but wondered why but according it was, to that the, was selected. Yeah, according to the Arach HaShulchan, certainly the way uh, it, it could be that it's not going specifically on 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 this at all it's a cre- it's a bracha saying asher yatar as adam we're we're getting very general here we're making a bracha on the entire creation of man hmm. yeah and by the way we don't yeah i mean it, it maybe with modani we have some of those thoughts in the morning but very few of us are, are conscious of our breathing you know or our lungs functioning unless we have a problem right. under normal conditions you don't have to see i just breathe in and breathe out you get it 
there is that moment when right. you're very conscious of some of these things. Yeah. So it's hard to have all these kavanas in the bracha when you're saying it all at once. But, uh, you know, sometimes we can think of the idea of mafli lasais and thank Hashem that He gave us the ruach inside of us, the breath that stays inside of us, and the chazal put in that word that to draw our attention, to thank Hashem for that as well. Sometimes we can have another one of the kavanais that's going in, going into this bracha. But, <coughs> okay, we're coming to an end, so let's just end with this, um, that, um, okay, very quickly, okay, one idea is that in Yisoseim Echad Mehem, you know, well, let's get back to the Yisoseim and Yipaseim Echad Mehem next time, because we'll, maybe we'll focus, we'll try to get clear what's the question of the order and the question of what each one's referring to in the fascinating tour. But, uh, more relevant to what we discussed today is the Darke Moshe from the Ramah, from Rav Moshe Esselitz, his comment here on the meaning of the bracha. Fascinating. And he says the following, that he thinks that the, referring to the neshama that Hashem put into a person that depends on the he- physical health of, of a person's body. That the person's physical health is dependent on his neshama being able to stay in his body. As long as we have uh, doctors in the world like Dr. Greenberg and others who keep us going uh, and uh, then we're able to exist on a physical level and when, the physical, when we're physically healthy then the neshama stays in the body and that's the pele that Hashem put a spiritual component into the body that's connected and tied to our physical uh, health. So listen to the Dark Yemayshev. The, the Pele, the wonder that Hashem does, is that Hashem put into a physical body a Neshama. That's something that's spiritual. And from the heavenly uh, beings, spiritual beings, gashmi into a physical uh, Clothing, the gufa adam into the body of a person, shehu min which is from the from the lower creations. The efshel the neshama lasas pulasai, the neshama can't do its job. Lahaskil b'muskala is to connect to the intellectual um, uh, connections to Hashem and to wisdom. Be'oich adam chole barminan, while a person is sick. Lo aleinu, barminan means it shouldn't be with us. Be'echad me'evarav, in any one of his limbs. Ki ka'ev gufai, when a person is suffering pain, matrido milasas pulasai, he's feeling discomfort and pain that uh, deters him from being able to, for his neshama, for his intellect, to be able to focus on what it needs to focus on. Ve'alkein amar roifei chalei chalbasar, through, roifei chalbasar, through Hashem, healing all flesh and making us be able to have that tranquility of the body through that the Hashem does a wonder of shanishama, meaning of putting the neshama on the person the neshama is tied into the body and says the Ramah with this we understand one more thing why were Chazal Misakin the bracha of Asher Yatzar right before Elokai Neshama because it goes right into it, right into Elikai Neshama. Because right the Chobasar is the on the 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 physical go running of the guf properly, and then Mafli Lasai says Hashem ties the Neshama into the body, and then we thank Hashem Elikai Neshama Shenasatzabi. Okay, Ashikarach. Have a wonderful week. Everyone should feel well, be healthy, and. We should have in the summer take a week with a healthy body this week.